Papa and Boy. The series. Oh, Papa, looks like it's time for bed. Time for bed, boy. <laughs> oh, yay, I'm excited to go to bed. Mm -hmm. The time before bedtime is the best time because that's when you tell me about the world and how it works. And it's my pleasure to teach you, Senate, to know that you want to go to bed right at bedtime without me mentioning anything. I just have to say, I am thrilled. Yeah, the sooner we go to bed, the sooner we can have another great day together. Oh, you're such a good son. Now, here, into bed now, you've got your nighttimey bib on. and mm -hmm. Will you tuck the blanket all the way up to my chin really close so all you can see is my head and not my neck? Yeah, and here I'm tuck, tuck, tucking my son in. Here you go. Mm, it's warm and cozy. That's right. Well, that's what you, you know, for sleep. Before we wrap up, any questions? You want to do Q&A, dad-son stuff, or... Yeah, Papa, I was wondering today, what's the difference between Papa's and Boy's? That is a great question, Boy, and I think you're old enough for me to talk frankly with you about this stuff. So the difference between a Papa and a Boy is a Papa has a tobacco pipe like this. Oh, yeah. And a boy has a spinny cap like you wear. It's obviously on the bedside Wee. table as it's bedtime. And you got suspenders, big buttons on the front, often licking lollipops. Fathers, we sort of get together. We watch sports. Lollipop. We follow stocks, politics. We drink beer and we fish. How come papas always know so much more than boys? Well, papas and boys, they have a dynamic historical tension. It's been said that history so far has been a struggle between father and son. Oh, wow. The father demands stability, safety, honor, a realm of protection for the family. The boy longs to be free, wants to push up against boundaries and overthrow systems. The papa wants to preserve systems. Now, I'm being metaphorical, of course, but this often applies. The father says, let's be safe by being defensive, by being aggressive if needed. The boy strives for new frontiers and will often be a destabilizing force within the family. But father, how come we don't have a whole lot of tension? We go together like peaches and cream. And I always want to do what you want me to do even before you ask me to do it because our interests are aligned perfectly. That's a great question, boy. That's a precocious little question. The reason why you and I get along so well is because myself and some of my immediate colleagues have developed a world historical system, which we've been test driving on you, my son, to transcend and sublate the inherent philosophical and material tension between fathers and sons, the very engine of history. And from that tension, using the steps that we've outlined, generate peace and harmony, Papa and boy moving as one, like a double helix moving through time. Son, wow. I gotta say, the system works, and I've made my career on this. I'm actually getting an award tomorrow for excellence in fathering. Well, congratulations. You deserve it, big guy. <laughs> Thank you, boy. You earned it. Look, we've been talking for so long, it is now your bedtime. Oh, yeah, right. The part of bedtime I love is over. I'll be turning off the light so you can grow up to become a doctor, like your mother and I are counting To on. be a doctor. Just like your grandfather. Good night, Dad. Have pleasant dreams, son. <laughs> Welcome back to Papa. I'm your host, Papa, and today's guest, our very special guest today, folks, is Boy. Come on out, Boy. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's great to be here. It's great to have you back on the show, boy. I am proud of you. I'm so proud of you, son, that I'm pinning my hopes and dreams on your success. Don't let me down. Don't let your mother down. Oh, no, Papa. I, will, I won't let anyone down. Papa, there was something I really wanted to Before we get started um, on today's show, did you empty the dishwasher like I asked? Uh, did I empty the dishwasher? Uh, I was in makeup back there, you know, it took quite a while, and I was prepping my notes for the show, and I guess it must have slipped my mind. So, boy, what you're saying is that you haven't done what you said you would do before you come on my daytime talk show. Yeah, well, I just, I was really thinking about the show, and I wanted it to be good, and there's something I really wanted to talk to you about. All right, everyone, we're just going to take a short break. While my son does what he said he would, and in the meantime, we are going to be hearing from our sponsors. What will Papa and Boy do next? We'll be right back to answer that question. 
Today's episode of Papa Boy Adventures is brought to you by the Seriously Wrong Podcast. Hi everyone, welcome to our ad. My name is Aaron. And my name's Sean. And uh, we try to do an ad like this in every dream that one of our characters has in an entire sketch episode about that character. Seriously Wrong is a podcast that we think that both papas and boys alike can finally get along for once and listen to. Yeah, and that's why we're launching the Papa Boy Adventure Series, starring sketch mainstays of the Seriously Wrong Universe, the Papa on one hand and the Boy on the other. Our pledge to you is that Papa Boy Adventures is number one, gonna tug the heartstrings, number two, keep you on the edge of your seat, and number three, teach us all a little something about this thing called life. Just a quick reminder to everyone that Papa Boy Adventures is only made possible with your help. We are just like 200 patrons away from getting to a point where we can dedicate our lives to Seriously Wrong full time, and that'll mean a whole lot more. Papa and boy. So, oh, and it looks like boy is back from washing the dishes, so we will throw it back to Papa, the show. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Papa. That's Papa with an exclamation mark. It's a daytime show. And I host it here deep within the psychology of boy. So welcome back to the show, boy. It is great to see you and knowing that all your chores are done. It does feel good to have my chores done. You were right, uh, as usual. So the thing that I really wanted to talk to you about was um, I've been thinking that I could be a stand-up comedian one day. Did you know that your grandfather was actually a doctor? Yeah, he was, he was a great man, Papa. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, when we had this conversation before, you said you'd probably be a doctor. Yeah, it seemed like you really wanted me to say that. That's my boy. That's my son. We never fight, folks. We we always... Papa and boy getting along. I'm proud to get along. Are you proud to get along, son? I love getting along with you, Papa. It's the best thing in my life. But yeah, stand-up comedy, it's, it's on a decline, you know? Your mother and I are so proud that you've agreed to become a doctor. Where are you driving me to, Papa? Where are we going? Okay, I was going to keep it a surprise, but your mother and I paid your way through medical school, and we're driving you right there right now. Oh, uh, is... no, Papa. So time Papa. to get started on a many-year journey to I become have a, a... I have a show tonight. I I'm going to do an open mic. I'm on the list. We are so proud that you have agreed to be a doctor. No, Papa, I haven't even finished elementary school yet. I can't go out to medical school. Here, let me just adjust your tie. I'm so proud of you. You're going to be married. Soon you won't need that propeller head anymore. No, Papa, it's too soon. I No, I can't go to school. I don't want to be a doctor. And here's your beautiful bride. A surgical table. Now, now, your beautiful wife's surgical table needs you to drag her down the aisle. But she's too heavy, Papa. I'm just a boy. Your grandfather's watching you right now. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it, Grandpa. I'll become a doctor, Grandpa. Anything for you. What I want doesn't matter. I'm going to be the doctor that you all need me to be. What everybody wants. I just can do it. I can do it. I'm going to be a doctor. I can do it. I can do it. Knock, knock, boy. I heard you talking. You'll be a doctor? What does that boy say? He'll be a doctor? I heard him. He said, I will be a doctor. Well, that's it. It's locked in. Thank you so much, son, for agreeing to be a doctor. I'm so proud of you. Oh, would you look at the time? I need to have a shower, change, and then drive my car to the conference, uh, where I will be receiving a parenting award. Welcome back, everybody, to the 103rd annual J.E. Fathering Awards, named after the founder of Fathering, J.E. Fathering. It's such an honor to host the gala tonight, and everyone looks so good in the audience. The food looks so good. It's not often that I'm able to give this award to someone who, not just father of the year, but I would say father of the generation or father of the century. These techniques... Papa Fatherson has developed, have solved the historical tension between fathers and boys forever, infinitely into the future. You know, I don't want to overstate it, but it's a great honor to invite Papa Fatherson to the stage. Sir, you deserve it. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <sighs> so here I am, Father of the Year. I'm really proud of what we've been able to do with Boy as a test case for the Fatherson system. It works. It works. We have a obedient, happy boy. The tension, the very engine of history, the inherent strife between father and boy has been calm, directed. Don't take my word for it. Here's a brief word from my son, Boy. And after this, you'll listen to me try my jokes? Sure, sure, bud. But, we, you know, like we talked about. Yeah, right, okay. <clears throat> I love my papa and living with my papa. And I love how he always knows the best and right things for me to make me the happiest. And that's, and that's why I'm the happiest boy in the world, because my papa always does know best. He doesn't even need to tell me when to go to bed or to study for school or to brush my teeth or to empty the dishwasher. I just do it all because I want to do it, to contribute to the family on time in an efficient way. And that's what love is. Does that look like a tense relationship between father and son, as you would predict? Does that look like a son that is disobedient, causing strife, that is longing for freedom? No. We have found a system. We have found a system that works both as the vaccine and the cure to boyhood ne'er-do-wellism. Your son will ne'er ne'er-do-well with our system. There'll be an even number of ne'ers in front of the do-well when it comes to referring to your son. For example, ne'er-ne'er, ne'er-ne'er, ne'er-ne'er-do-well might refer to your son but not ne'er, ne'er, ne'er do well, if you follow. If you want to know how the system works, you can line up to buy the book like everyone else. <laughs> just kidding. But it is complex and hard to explain, so I'm just going to boil it down to one principle. Listen to your boy. Take what your boy says into consideration. Now, Papa's no best, right? <laughs> but the boy knows what the boy knows. So yes, you have to be a gentle guiding hand. Yes, you have to guide your boy in the right direction. But you also have to have another hand towards the boy that's willing to be led. There's wisdom in the boy. Here's an example. My boy, he knows dad knows best. He once asked me, why 8 p.m., dad? Why is bedtime at 8 p.m. rather than a different time of night? Why not 8.15? Why not 8.30? You know, this is the type of question a lot of papas don't even think to ask. It's wisdom in the boy. And this profound revelation that I came upon is why I do deserve this award. So thank you, and it's an honor, and it's humbling. I want to thank God, and obviously want to thank my wife and my boy. And I want to thank other boys and other papas. A lot of people contributed to this win. So, you know, a man's home is his castle, and you all here tonight have made me feel like a king from a faraway land. So thank you. And my boy is a prince uh, who's going to grow up to be a doctor. Thank you, everyone. to yeah, navigate my Mr. way Fox out of the auditorium. Yeah, Thank you. Yes, it was nice to meet you. Can you sign my son? Yeah, I can't Fox. sign anything right no, now. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, uh, my papa please. doesn't Excuse me, can you get like, out of the way? I'm just boy. hands off me, please. Oh, Stop. Fox, okay, I get it, I get it. You like it, sir. Can you spin my propeller hat I just need to get through. Please just sign. Boy, I'll hold you up and just touch him. Touch Mr. Father. Oh, did you see? Papa Fatherson's on the cover of Time again. I never get tired of reading cover stories about him. I saw him on the cover of Fatherhood Weekly, City Dads. Oh, they just did a whole richest dads in the world going into Fatherson Mansion. Extravagant, but classy. Yeah, well, he became rich off oh, the, yeah, the Fatherson there's... system, the solution to history. The... Yeah, if you solve history, you're going to get rich about it. That's how society works. Have you read his book, Father Knows Best? Take my money is all I can say to Papa Fatherson. You deserve it. Take more of it. Yeah. Whatever you produce, I'll pay you for. And then I'll go to see you, and I'll buy it again so you can sign it. You deserve it. I guess it. it's fair to say that Papa Fatherson's really sort of like a mainstream big celebrity these days. Like, you know, you see him everywhere. He's sort of like a Beyonce in our world. He has the media exposure and popular presence of a Beyonce, but the financial power behind him of like a, a Bill Gates or a Steve Jobs. Steve yes, Jobs. big Steve Jobs vibes. Yeah, that's the one. Well, he's an idol. He is an idol and i Absolutely. think 
I wish my father had paid for the system. Oh yeah, I wish my dad was like Papa Father. Papa father. Oh man, <laughs> going by the system, I'd be in a totally different place now. I'd probably be a doctor. My brother is raising his son with the father-son system, and he's been playing with little toy scalpels and obeying my brother's every command. Well, I was actually reading Papa Fatherson's son himself, boy Fatherson. He's actually training now for his first surgery. He's loved it since he was a little boy. I read a piece on it in Vanity Fair. The boy's preternaturally gifted. Yeah, and I guess like it really comes down to, you know, like well, the proof is in the pudding. His son is obedient. His son doesn't talk back. His son doesn't stay up past bedtime. His son doesn't get into fights at school. His son does his homework. His son prepares for the future. His son, and this is all riding on his son. Oh, absolutely. Like, if his son fell from grace in some way, like, totally impossible, obviously. But that would disprove the whole system, and Papa Fatherson would go from towering heights to, like, I'm sure he'd still have his house and a lot of wealth, but he'd be disgraced. That would be a fall from grace. Yeah. That would be... Epic. Epic, yeah. Fall from grace, disgrace. I never made the connection before. Disgrace, you know? Fall oh, from yeah. grace, the same... Mm. Neat. Sort of, that's what he would be in for if his son ever disobeyed him. Oh, uh, yeah, sometimes it's fun to imagine things that are completely impossible. But it is fun to imagine that. Oh, you know, the new Fatherson pipe is coming out tomorrow morning, and, you know, people are already starting to line up, so I'm kind of camping out there all afternoon today and tonight. You know, I'm definitely going to get a Fatherson pipe, the new model, after it's just like, I'm not one for the lineups. It can be a little bit of a status thing early on, the newest fatherson pipe is released all the fathers line up around the block uh, it's just fun to be there and you're with the other fathers and we're all excited about the pipe it's not even so much that i need it right away i just like the event of it you no know? i think you're good about it and like i'm not trying to criticize you i'm just saying like a lot of people in that oh sure subculture yeah, yeah. and like I, I, hey by all means get the pipe I, I myself plan to get this exact pipe no i get it while. you'll buy it online when when they're it stock gets available, back in stock yeah. in like a week or two it's not a big deal but yeah it's the beginning like this i don't need to be showy like that but what we both agree on is that papa father son and his system are perfect and he's our idol that i agree with uh knock knock is my boy in here papa you're back home yeah here i am hey how's it going it's our favorite time of the day you're about to go to bed and i'm here to yeah the little bit of time before bedtime was always the happiest times but yeah i haven't seen you in a few weeks yeah it's just been two is crazy boy i since i got the fathering of the year congratulations on that again oh thank you that means a lot from you I've been so busy. I've been busy, busy, busy like a bee. I've been flying around the whole hive, doing tours, doing talks, selling books, signing boys. I'm at the top of my game. I'm a superstar. I'm wearing sunglasses right now as I'm talking to you, son, even in your room. I'm wearing a big, poofy hat. I wouldn't usually wear this type of thing, but I guess you could say all the success and fame is really getting to me. I'm talking about myself so much. I'm just like a motor mouth over here talking about myself. I never asked you about yourself or what you care about. That's so messed up, man. How's medical school going? Uh, you know, it's pretty hard. I don't really understand all the man- the anatomy that they're teaching me. Yeah, you're still young, and I mean, it's complex stuff. Yeah, but anatomy. they got the schedule. I'm supposed to do the live surgery for the event next month. Oh, that is going to be incredible. That is going to be such a vindication of all my theories, and that's going to be great. I know you're going to knock it out of the park because you are obedient. You follow yeah, orders it's just well. When I cut into flesh, it really freaks me out. I don't know if I really, I don't know. I didn't want to, and I haven't had time to write my jokes. And you I don't need to write been, jokes if you're going to be doing surgery. Well, I mean, I don't jokes need aren't them, part, It's a totally but... different skill set. Surgery is being delicate, doing things right, cutting flesh. Yeah, I know. Getting used to cutting flesh is a big part of that. Telling jokes, not part of that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I remember you saying that you were going to be doing surgery as a doctor and that the only place you were going to be standing up was not on a stage as a comedian, but rather standing up at an operating table doing the youngest open heart surgery in human history. You know, you never misquoted me before, Papa, so I must have said all that. You don't no need to get the recordings. You know I have receipts, son. I know, Papa. So it is bedtime, so I'll be turning off the light. Have a good night. I'm so no, proud don't, of you. Don't turn off the light. I'm not going to bed. What, you're not going to bed? I mean, 
it's bedtime. It's eight o'clock. I don't know, but maybe I just go to bed when I want. Not have a bedtime? What are you talking about? What did you get? What are I you ta- read your book, Dad, the Father Son System. You said you listen to boys, and that eventually we won't need to have bedtimes anymore. I'm saying let's do it. Let's get rid of the bedtime. Yeah, I mean, sure. Theoretically, eventually, when the boy is ready, you can get rid of the bedtime. I'm telling I- you, I'm ready. I'm about to do surgery. Well, you know what I also I say is father knows best, and I think that you're too young. Yeah, but you also I say listen to the boy, right? Yes, yeah, I do, and you, I think. So. Are you being smart with me? No, I just think we could spend some time together. You said boys have wise, and they know what they know. Touche. You're right. You're right, and I'm proud you of mean I'm, it. You're listening to me. I I have to say I'm gonna listen to you on this one. I think that little bout of friendly defiance it doesn't break the system it's part of the system and so it's something i've always planned for is that eventually as you mature as a boy that you would have a little bit more self-direction within reason it's true you're planning for a surgery and you know what 45 minutes more before bed is just enough time oh, yeah. for me to and you to go over a little bit of paperwork i was thinking about oh. having you sign some legal paperwork you haven't been responding to my emails about the beanies the little spinning propeller hats with your likeness that oh, we're hoping to sell right. through the yeah i saw those i just i was about to go into mock surgery and it was really stressful okay and well yeah I just because it's marked red doesn't mean that it's been dealt with remember that because i'm you left me hanging again it's a lot of things to juggle i don't know if, just do i really want to be on the face of a propeller hat and you know it's a here i got the paperwork here and if we're just get a quick signature it's gonna be money in the bank for you and me okay yeah there we go that's my that. boy you made your papa happy today that's a good boy a good boy makes a papa happy i'm thank a good you for boy signing it. thank you for letting me stay up later you're making your grandpa proud. He was a doctor himself, you know? I know, Dad. He wanted me to be a doctor, you know? Yeah. What if I was like you and wasn't a doctor? That would be weird. That would be weird. It, it's neat to think about things that are completely impossible. That would never happen. I guess we got a lot of paperwork to go over here. It's on here. And do you favor this design? You Why want it this way? Why does my face or? look so round on that? You've got a naturally round face, but we had our artists round in it because that's what the focus group said they liked in boys' face. Welcome, everyone, to What Will Papa and Boy Do Next? Kind of a wrap-up discussion show that follows Papa and Boy, where we just give a, you know, the blow-by-blow on, talk about what happened, and, you know, take it all in, because we, like I'm sure all of you, are reeling. I can barely guess what Papa's going to do next, let alone what Boy's going to do next. Oh, yeah, well, because Boy is the wild card. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. You always have to look for the wild card in these shows. Frankly, there was times this episode where I was just literally screaming. I heard him. Yeah, he was screaming. The drama, the chills and spills. I cried. I was on the edge of my seat. I know this was a premiere, but the writers this week outdid themselves. Absolutely. It makes you wonder what could possibly top it. But it also leaves you certain that somehow they will. Will Papa realize that boy wants to be a comedian? Or, I mean, what's the alternative? Boy disobeys his father. Ruining his career. It'll never happen. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think what will happen is the father will see what he's doing is wrong. Oh, yeah. I was kind of thinking that the boy would see that his dreams were wrong. He becomes the world's greatest surgeon. Huh. Interesting. Like his grandpa's really proud of him and he does exactly what his dad wants and finds fulfillment through that. I think, I mean, we agree he's going to pull off the surgery for sure. The big surgery in front of everyone. I'd be just too embarrassed secondhand if he didn't. That would be He's going to pull that off. That's not... That's no big deal. But, I mean, that's one of the great things about this show is you never know what Papa and Boy will do next. I just am so angry that I have to wait another unspecified amount of time until the next one comes out. The unspecified amount of time before the first one was hell, but the unspecified time between this and the next one is going to be even more difficult. I just want more of this universe. I want to know more. I need to know what happens. I want to see Papa and Boy go in all different kinds of directions, on all different kinds of adventures. I can't wait for all of that, but it doesn't exist yet. So, in conclusion, I don't know, what do you rank this episode? I'm going to give this episode, on what I'm calling the official Papa Boy ranking system, an F. Of course, the system goes from A to F, F being the highest, 
because it's a higher letter when you're reciting the alphabet. So I'm also going to have to give this a solid F. Now, this is a hell of a premiere right out of the gate. Kept me interested. Just can't wait to see where it goes next. So thanks for tuning in to What Will Papa and Boy Do Next? And we will see you next time. Have a great week. Wow, that was an incredible episode of What Will Papa and Boy Do Next? Oh my god, yeah. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time they were discussing what they saw in the Papa Boy Adventures episode. Hi everyone, and welcome back to What Will Papa and Boy Do Next? Do Next? We're talking about that incredible after-show presentation from the people of What Will Papa and Boy Do Next about that premiere episode of Papa and Boy. And I have just got to say, those panelists we're on fire that was incredible incredible yeah, talk. i could not believe that one of the panelists actually believed the moral of the story was going to be that boy was wrong this whole time and is going to turn out to be a doctor it's a heart gripping moment I, I couldn't believe he thought that you know and that panelist is a real wild card i say mm, watch out yeah. for that one absolutely always look for the wild card in any media and you'll find the key this has been another episode of what will papa and boy do next do next it was an incredible episode of what will Papa and Boy do next. Can't wait to see where they go next with this panel show. Before we go, one last word from our sponsors. Just a real quick sponsor note here. Just put it. Oh yeah, it's a tape. If you just hit, put it in there and press play. Here we go and I'll just press play. Hey everyone, uh, we host the Seriously Wrong podcast. Uh, you can find it at seriouslywrong.com. S-R-S-L-Y-W-R-O-N-G.com. We have a Patreon. Please leave us reviews on iTunes and stuff. It's really helpful. Tell your friends about the show. We will see you soon. And uh, we really, really appreciate you taking the time to listen. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. This is a very short tape that they just put in. But please know that we appreciate you listening and getting to the very end of the episode. Yeah, it's running out. I can see the end of the tape. But your time and attention is valuable. Don't let people like Mark Zuckerberg take it from you. Give it to people like us or others instead. Multitask. Get your dishes done. We're proud of you. Fuck Mark Zuckerberg, man. Attention stealer. And just pop out that tape. That was great. Great word from the sponsors. And I guess like ending a show on an ad from a sponsor is the way to go. Yeah, it's a good idea. So goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. And thanks for watching. What will Papa and Boy do next? Do next. The non-confusing discussion show of the discussion show for the exciting new series, Papa Boy Adventures. Thank you and goodbye. Papa and boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>